Hello everyone! In this lesson, we're going to look at the different ways to uninstall updates on Windows 11. Although updates are important, sometimes they can cause compatibility problems, errors, and they may even prevent your computer from starting correctly. If you recently installed an update and it is causing problems, you can remove it in at least five different ways. Okay, here's how to uninstall updates on Windows 11. Okay, to uninstall a problematic Windows 11 update with the settings app, use these steps. First, open start and look for settings. And then open the app. Then go to Windows update and click on update history. Scroll down and go to uninstall updates. In here, select the most recent update and click the uninstall button. Then click yes and restart the computer to complete the process. You can also use command prompt to uninstall updates on Windows 11. And to do that, we're going to open start and look for command prompt or the Windows terminal. In this case, I'm just going to use the Windows terminal and I'm going to right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. In here, I'm going to type this command to view all the updates installed on Windows 11. And we're going to make note of the number that identifies the update on Windows 11 and it's this one right here that have fixed ID and then we're going to select the number and we're going to right click on the selection to copy that to the clipboard then we're going to use the W USA uninstall KV and then we're going to right click to paste the identification number to uninstall the update that we want and then we're going to press enter and in here, we just need to click yes to complete the uninstall of the update. You might also need to restart the computer. Since I have to show you other different ways to uninstall updates, I'm just going to click no, but you have to click yes to continue with the process. It is also possible to uninstall Windows 11 updates using PowerShell commands. And to do that, we're going to open start and look for PowerShell or the Windows terminal. In this case, I'm just going to use the terminal. I'm going to right click on the top result and select the run as administrator option. And then I'm going to open a PowerShell console. And in here we want to install the PS Windows update module that allows you to uninstall updates through PowerShell commands and then press enter. I already have the module installed on the computer, so I'm not going to get a prompt. But if this is the first time installing it on your computer, you will get a prompt to confirm the installation. And if you have any issues trying to install the module, it is probably because you need to change the PowerShell execution policy. And in that case, you will need to run the set execution policy to remote sign and press enter and then run the install module PS Windows update. Once you complete the process, you can set the execution policy to restrict it one more time. Then you want to run this command to see the first 50 updates installed on Windows 11. And then to remove the update, we need to use the remove Windows update command. And then we only need to specify the KV number for the update that you want to uninstall. In this case, we're going to select this update. I'm gonna select it and right click on the selection. I'm going to right click to paste it on the command. And then you just need to press enter to begin the uninstall process. In here, just type A to say yes to all the prompts and press enter. Again, because I have to show you all the different ways to uninstall updates, I'm just going to cancel this operation. And you also may need to restart the computer to complete the process. Now, if your computer is having issues starting up, and you can't get to the desktop, or you just want to remove an update while Windows 11 is not loaded, you can use the advanced startup settings to remove the updates. There are different ways to access the advanced startup options. So I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can see all the ways that you can start in the recovery environment. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the settings app to access the advanced startup options. And to do that, open start and look for settings and open the app then go to system and open recovery in here click the restart now button 
In here, we're going to select the troubleshoot option, and then we're going to go to advanced options, and then you're going to find an uninstall updates option. And in here, we're going to select the uninstall latest quality update. And using this option, you can select the update that you want to uninstall. Instead, Windows 11 will uninstall the latest update that was installed on Windows in order to try to help you to get back into the desktop if it is not working correctly because of the update. And the last thing left to do is just to click the uninstall quality update button and this will restart the computer to apply the changes. Finally, you can also uninstall Windows 11 updates through safe mode. And to do that, open start and look for system configuration and open the app. And this is the legacy MS config. Now let's go to the boot options and we're going to select the safe mode option. Then click apply and click OK. And now restart the computer. Now in safe mode, use the Windows R keyboard shortcut and type control panel and click OK. Now go to programs, programs and features, view uninstall updates and in here select the update and click the uninstall button and then click yes to confirm and then restart the computer. I don't need to uninstall the update right now so I'm going to click no but that's exactly what you need to do to remove a Windows 11 update using safe mode. And now we're going to restart the computer. After restarting the computer, you will notice that the computer will continue to boot in safe mode. And to fix that, use the Windows R keyboard shortcut and type msconfig. And then go to boot and clear the safe mode option. Click apply, click OK, and click the restart button to start the computer normally. And those were all the ways that you can use to uninstall quality updates on Windows 11 when they're not working correctly. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.